With the summer months approaching, the city of Jacksonville is hiring more lifeguards. 300 positions, in fact, need to be filled. Applicants need to sign up now because the training begins soon. Joining us this morning is Kinsey Radloff, aquatics assistant for the city of Jacksonville's aquatics office. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. How are you? So what do you consider the best applicant to become a city of Jacksonville lifeguard? Well, we actually have a lot of um, high school swimmers that end up being lifeguards and they're really great with the kids um, when we do our swim lessons as well. But we are open to anyone that can swim um, and go through our training class. We are in need of lifeguards. So so what are the qualifications when it comes to age and, and their ability in, in and out of the water? Um, you have to be at least 15 and um, we accept all the way up to teachers um, and then you'll have to go through our training class which is five days long and we also offer hybrid classes um, that are only two days long but you'll have to do a 300 swim which is 12 laps um, tread water for two minutes and then retrieve a 10 pound brick from the bottom of the pool it seems hard but it's really not <laughs> and so uh, what kind of specifically, uh, when you're looking at this, um, what kind of commitment do they need to be willing to offer? Is it the whole summer? Some of them might have a summer job. Do you work with that? Absolutely, yes. Um, so they get to pick their schedule. You know, they tell their manager what days they can work and what days they can't work. And then we also have a lot of college students that end up leaving earlier than our um, summer, before our summer ends. And so we work around their schedules uh, it's a really fun, awesome job, and it's, you know, you learn life-saving skills at the same time. So what kind of pay can they expect? So we pay $10 an hour, um, and then assistant managers get 11 and managers get $12 an hour. And then when it comes to working with children, how would you describe the kind of exposure they'll have with kids that they need to be prepared for? So we offer um, swim lessons and swim team, and so they'll get a chance to be really hands-on with the kids, teaching them how to swim. It's a, it's a really fun opportunity. All of our lifeguards, they, a lot of them just come back to teach swim lessons because they love it so much. And then, you know, you're in your community and you're able to hang out with the community kids when you're not, you know, lifeguarding. You can be in the pool with them on your break. It's, it's really fun. Uh, so it's interesting because we want to point out that this is for the city pools. We're not talking about, you know, along the beach or anything. So these are specifically for the city pools. And given the fact that, uh, you know, with COVID last year and the pools being closed, I mean, do you have any returning lifeguards? I mean, how would you describe your need? Absolutely. We do have a lot of returning lifeguards, um, but just with COVID, we're really short staffed, so we do need more lifeguards. So if you guys are interested, call our office. Great. Thank you very much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. And of course, all of this information will be posted on newsforjax.com. Have a great day. You too. Thank you.